How much protein do you need per day? How much protein should you eat in a meal? How much protein is too much protein? Is protein is actually safe? Is whey protein bad for you? These are all questions I've heard over the years and they never seem to be answered. Today I want to try and at least shed some light on some of these questions because answering some of them is really isn't that simple. I'll start with how much protein do you need per day? This question is interesting because if you're watching this video, chances are you're most likely eating enough protein in your day because most of the Western cultures perceives eating meat as a sign of wealth. And we can simply see this from the average amount of meat being consumed around the world in this chart here. The World Health Organization recommends 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight with a little bit of a caveat. This recommendation is only if you're an average sedentary person, whatever that means. Now, this recommendation is hotly debated and a lot of researchers are nagging the World Health Organization to increase this recommendation based on these studies here. Here we are seeing anywhere between 1.2 grams up to 1.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So then which is it? Then? I believe this will depend on few things. Are you doing some kind of resistance training or are you doing any kind of sports on a weekly basis? Or are you someone who is working in an office, sitting all day with minimum movement? If you're in the latter group, first I urge you to start doing some resistance training, even if it's once a week. As this study here shows, once it done two to three times a week increases strength and these are well-trained athletes. So the chances are, if you are a beginner, you'll probably see even more gains. If however, you're doing some sort of resistance training or you're doing some kind of sports on a regular basis, then you're in for a treat. Because if you search online, how much protein do I need to eat per day? You'll find anywhere, a range between anywhere between 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight up until 2.5 grams. So how much or which one should you use that? So it's always a range and this range is anywhere between 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight up until 2.5 grams per kilogram of body weight. So which one should you use? It really depends on what you're currently doing in your life. Are you losing weight? Then you should probably err on the high side of things because protein is more satiable and you're trying to maintain more muscle mass. So basic math here, if you're 80 kilograms and you're trying to lose weight, your, should, your range should probably be between 160 grams up to 180 grams per day. However, if you're gaining weight, you can go all the way down to 150 grams per day up to 170 or 180 again. Now, some might ask, how the hell would I eat this much protein per day? And this brings us to the next topic. So if we go back to our example of someone who is 80 kilograms and trying to lose weight, eating anywhere between 160 to 180 grams protein per day, then he's eating or she's eating three meals a day, then this would make up around 54 grams per meal per day. But now you see there is a problem here. If you're eating three times a day, this means you're, you're eating 54 grams of protein per meal. And that brings us to the next question. How much can you actually absorb in a meal? Now, this topic is quite controversial and there are so many talks about it. So how much can your body actually absorb per meal? And the answer is, your body can absorb so much, but does it mean that it utilizes it? it probably doesn't. According to this study and that study here, 20 grams per meal is what your body can absorb in a meal. But in a much later study, they showed that 40 grams is also beneficial for protein synthesis. So all of this to say, again, is probably a range. And you can eat anywhere between 20 and 40 grams of protein per meal and still get great gains. So I want to really dwell too much on this. At the end of the day, what really matters is how much protein you're eating in the whole day. If we move to the board here, you can see that we can make a pyramid of importance, just like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So we have at the bottom here, the most important thing and the most basic need is protein per day. Then if you want to optimize even further, we go up one level and that will be protein per meal. And then we move up one level more and that is protein quality. And if you really, really, really want to optimize even further, the last thing would be protein timing. So this opens yet another question here, which is protein timing. And based on this study here and countless anecdotal observations, it shows that it really, really doesn't matter. But if you are super obsessed and you want to over optimize everything in your life, then you can think of this as the top of the pyramid, as we saw, and you can obsess over it. But in the grand scheme of things, it will not add too much 
to your gains. Last thing I want to talk about in the protein timing section is that people over obsess over an the anabolic window, which it used to be like 30 minutes after workout, you have to shut down your shake with like a banana or something. But as this study here shows, it's not really that short. It's anywhere between four to six hours between your pre-workout meal and your post-workout. So you can really chill and go home and make a meal and eat this meal. You don't have to take a protein shake in the bathroom and just rush everything. So now we have learned how much we need per day and per meal. And the last question is, is all of this really safe? Is it really safe to eat this much protein per day? And also, is whey protein safe? I have seen this whey protein argument so many times. And even when I started my fitness journey, my mom used to tell me like, yeah, whey protein is not good for you and you shouldn't really eat it. And I'm sorry to tell you, mom, but you're wrong. So according to this huge meta-analysis here, we can see that whey protein helps athletes in performance and recovery. So what about the amount of protein we're eating per day? It's quite a lot. According to this huge, huge study from the Journal of International Society of Sports and Nutrition, where they tested an insanely high amount of protein per kilogram of body weight per day, up to 4.4 grams per kilogram found that it had absolutely no harmful effects. One last thing, so the YouTube gods require a sacrifice from my channel. In order to do that, and I don't burn in YouTube hell, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.